Hey, remind me again why we're bringing this spanner. Because this sounds like fun. I've been wondering that we're too. We're not on holiday, I've heard a lot about these Torna people. They're the ones collecting core crystals, yeah? And besides, I can't pretend this doesn't concern us too. Not when they're calling themselves Torna. Shall it? Hey, there we go. This motherfucker finally decided to join. Piece of shit. All right, let's we'll see what kind of crazy crap you've got on you. Interesting. Why is he? He says he's the leader of Tantal, right? I don't know if that's how that relates to Torna specifically. Ah, uh, yep. And she's Pandora. So that was that was actually a little goop by the game where it uh they they said the name of a of her before I actually got her in my party. Whoops. The eye of shining justice is throbbing. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what's throbbing? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I wonder if it's actually my last party member because now I'm looking at the top uh, UI thing here. It doesn't look like there's many, much more room to fit people. Now, I bet when I was actually doing the this thing here. Yeah. It's not really much more, more room to squeeze somebody else in here. Is this guy actually the last one with it really only be five party members in the game? Not counting Van Damme. That'd be a pretty small party. At least compared to most other JRPGs, though. How many did we have in uh, Xenoblade 1? We had Shulk, Dunban, Fiora, Sharla, Melia, Ryan, Ricky. I think that's it, actually. Not counting, you know, the guest characters. So that'd be seven. Okay, so, yep. He has got a natural launch, which is very fucking good. He's got knockback, damage dealt to machines, increases damage dealt to toppled enemies. All right, so you can bond shit, right? Yes, you can. Good. Stinky can't get uh, Vess's core crystal. All right, my dude, let's go ahead and pull some shit on you then, all right? We still got a few of these. See if we can't get something interesting for you. Why? Wow, see, he like strikes a JoJo pose when he's fucking holding the crystal. Oh, hey, this is something. Whoa! My name is Percival. This guy, uh, kind of crazy looking and definitely harnessing some Yoshimitsu energy. What the hell? None can stand against me. Oh! Well, that's interesting. Dankness. Cool. Wow, that is a... I wonder who did that art. That's some wild looking artwork. Sure. I like it. Back to battle. He's a tank blade. All right, let's keep it going. We only got two more of these legendaries. Almost, almost finished them all off. What? 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 Huh? What the? F what? Dude. Uh. Uh. What? Okay. I. I'm one bum that I missed. Okay. So I was trying to rush through this shit because I swear to God, I pulled 20 fucking things and I wasn't getting anything. And so eventually I just started skipping the animations because I was like, fuck, man. I don't care. Because I know there's an event theater. Apparently, you can go back and rewatch this. But what the fuck? Cosmos? Excuse me? You get fucking Cosmos as a blade in this game? Oh my god, I have to see this shit. Oh, do I want to sit this? Uh, yeah, I think I do. She's got a fucking gun? That is her, right? Oh, that is definitely her. That is absolutely her. Ready for departure, master. Is that her voice too? Hold up. Hold up. Damn. Oh, I wish I... Oh, damn it. I wish I'd gotten the fucking animation. But the problem was for that... Oh, no. I I was like, seriously, I went through like 20 of them and I did the, you know, view the whole animation. And God, it just takes so long, man. It's so... I find it really stupid, actually, the way this is designed where it's like... I feel like they should just make it so that if you get a rare blade, don't skip that animation. But if for everything else, for common ones, just skip it. Oh, that's interesting. Create blade? Or Blade Quest? Oh, the Poppy Buster. Oh, Vess. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, oh, they even have all the common ones in here. They're oh, oh my god, dude. Oh my god, she even comes out of her fucking her little like her thing there. What in the fuck, man? That is crazy. Cosmos. A bay strategical multiple operation system. That definitely does not sound like her voice actress. What in the fuck, dude? All systems operational. She's got two giant guns. Are you my master? Yes. Fuck Xion. Xion sucked anyway. Wow. Wow, that's pretty. That's a pretty cool fucking Easter egg, dude. Is she good? I think she's got to be good. I wonder if she was rare or not. I, I bet she was probably at least like relatively rare. That's a really cool Easter egg. Yeah, I was like, I'm like, dude, I'm, did I, I had to check the thing in here. I'm like, I still have a decent amount of fucking blades in here that I have yet to uncover. So I'm like, but I was really wasn't pulling anything. So she's light. Voiced by Kaylin Thorburn. America Suzuki. Illustrator is Kunihiko Tanaka. Is that the is that the original artist behind Kunihiko Tanaka? I think it is actually. Yep, that's him. That is literally the original artist. Damn, his art looks great. The funny thing about Kunihiko Tanaka though is like for whatever reason, like his art always actually looks really pretty damn good in 2D, but always looks super weird in 3D. Like there's like this weird uncanny valley to all the characters. That's why Xenosaga generally like looks kind of odd. Like all the 3D models, this could look kind of dead inside. They just never like seem to reflect it well in the 3D models. Although I think for what I saw, she did look kind of neat. She looked pretty good there. Okay, Cosmos, you got some crazy shit. Increase critical damage by 25% when landing a hit. Restore 30% of damage dealt to the whole party. At 60% chance of dealing a guard knowing attack. Annulls enemy defense and increases special damage dealt by 16%. Wait, what? Annulls enemy defense? Wait, just always? And then it also increases special damage dealt by it up to 100% once I get this maxed out. What the fuck? Deal 60% more and take... 10% less damage at max affinity. Whoa. I don't know if it was always that much for other people that had a move similar to that. Was it always was it 60%? That was a lot, man. Reduces aggro buildup from attacks by 20%. She's got the power of light. Oh, she's she's got lock picking too. Sure, why not? She can hack the doors. Mental arithmetic. Perform Kapopos calculations of speeds exclusive to Cosmos. What in the fuck, dude? Well, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. That's a pretty neat Easter egg. I wonder if she gets any like if she has a blade quest then. Or guessing like any heart to hearts. I'm guessing she probably does. I, I don't know if every, actually, I don't know. Does every blade in this game get that? What about this guy? Increases aggro drawn, increases damage dealt uh, by targeting the user by 60%. Adds a 1% chance to incapacitate enemies, really, with the fails on bosses and uniques. A 1% chance, really. All the way up to a grand 3% for that, for the super move. Ah, whatever. Increases damage dealt for each enemy incapacitated by 90%. Interesting. Restores 45% e HP each time an enemy is defeated. Wow, that's actually pretty good. 1% chance of felling a humanoid on attack. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, so by default, that's 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 better. Dark Blade, Leaping, Assassination. Well, that's pretty neato. I ain't gonna lie, boy. That's pretty goddamn neat. So his gunner comes with a, he comes with a burst ability. I wonder if she's good with... Uh, with Zeke or not. Wow. God damn. God damn, boy. Look at that cosmos. She looks pretty good, actually. She actually looks pretty decent in here. I think definitely better than she has in previous games. I also like her new armor here. Wow. What a cool Easter egg, man. All right. And just to give everyone up to snuff, let's go ahead and just right off the bat. Because I, I do it with everybody. For this. Everyone gets a love source right at the start. All right. Let's go. I head to Temperantia. Just give me the word when you pair a Titan ship for you. I'm ready. Cecil at once. 